I believe it is about a four to one support ratio where you view for their streams and only once will they come back after you view four of their streams. So the next part of the talk is about networking, which is equally as important as posting content on other platforms because posting content on other platforms, that's a way to get an organic viewership so far that I found. And then networking is another excellent way to help you get started so that you can start meeting people uh, and then you can network even further on your Twitch. So Facebook groups, great place to start. This is where I got my start too. When I didn't have anywhere else to go, I posted my link on Facebook groups, hoping that people would come by. Eventually I got involved to the point to where I found other people online. It's a great place to start, but you shouldn't spend too much time on here though. Facebook groups are very great to initially start your journey, but most people on Facebook groups I found in my experience are only in there to just post their links and hope someone stops by. Which I mean, you know, I could be doing a lot better. I could do a lot better job of interacting with other people who do post their links on Discord pages. But at the end of the day, you know, some Facebook groups are larger than 10,000 people. There's no chance that people are going to see your see your link because every second hundreds of people are posting their link at the same time. And it's also a great place to find other discords to network in. It is a tool and should not be your primary means to network. Fall for follow doesn't work. It just doesn't. So please, if you're going on these network Facebook groups and you are trying to do follow for follow, understand that they will give you a follow and they will never watch your stream. So discord groups, excellent way to connect with other creators and supporters. There are millions of discords out there where there are thousands of people, hundreds of people that you can meet and build personal connections, gain a connection with. It's not just other people that are in the same discord as you. It is how many people of those do you know? How many people of those do you know more than just their name on online? You know, like how many people of you know what they do for work or if they have a kid or if they have a dog or something like that. That's beyond just what they have on the about me section. So it's great to create personal connections in an informal manner. It's like, I mean, yesterday in the Wah Buffet, we were all just, I was in there for a couple minutes, Hawks joined in and out of nowhere, we had eight people in, in a Discord call just hanging out. That is a great opportunity for you to network and learn other people and to know what makes them tick so that you can play off of that in their Twitch stream. So this is how you should network in Discord groups and what I've found to be the best a way of networking in discord groups just saying hey what's up good morning to everyone in general chat that should be the absolute bare minimum whenever you're joining a discord just say hey what's up most people just chat in general and just want to hang out posting in the alternate channels there are usually you know channels about food and art and tattoos and this and that if you want to be even more noticed try posting in some of the other channels but the most important thing is going above and beyond and this is the best way to get your name out there hang out in voice chats, join community events, get to where people are interacting. Like in the Wah Buffet, you know, we have Among Us nights. We have Super Smash Bros nights. You want to network? Sign up for one of those. I know it might not be the most convenient time, but if you dedicate an hour of your time to hang out in a voice chat with someone who's also having the same experience, you're also able to learn other things about them and that is just going to make it so you build a more personal connection. Don't join a Discord group with the intent of self-promoting. You should join a Discord group because you want to meet new people and you want to be part of the community and see how you can increase the community's value. You should not join a group thinking, what can it do for me, but what can I do for the group? What I found to be most successful, be a nice person first. Be a person who wants to learn the other people first and be a nice person and join their streams too because the more you are nice to someone the more of a chance you are going to become a little bit more likable which means they want to support you in your streams it's awesome how other people want to support other people online and see them do what they want to do you just have to give them that opportunity and you're not going to give them that opportunity if you're only just self-promoting yourself 
because people don't like to be sold to. It is so often, you know, whenever you click on a Twitch stream and you're not subbed to them, plays an ad. How likely are you to watch through that ad? Most likely you are going to click off of it because people do not like to get sold to. Creating that audience takes time and effort and you're not gonna build an audience if you're not networking or posting original content. Number one, best way ever to network with people as a growing streamer is to join other people's Twitch streams. I know it sounds crazy. All the people are like, oh, you need to join as many discords as you can. No, the best way to network with other people is to watch their streams for a few reasons. First, you can engage with other people, show up to their streams, say what's up, see the other content creators there and say hi to them directly. That not only makes the streamer feel better that they have a chat going, it also makes the other viewers happy that you notice them and the other viewers and the Twitch streamer knows that you're there. Use each stream as a mini Discord chat. Connect with other people, like we're doing right now. Like whenever we're in Isis streams, or in Jack's streams, or in Jay's, or Nightmares, or Tamago's. Those are all great opportunities to engage with others, make personal connections, because everyone is sharing the same experience at that time. Everyone right now is listening to me ramble on about how to network and we all are given the opportunity to say hey did that work for you or if you have questions hey what how did this work out for you or i think you're full of shit ponzo this is not good you know so you know every time you are in someone's chat look at it as a as an opportunity to meet someone new and possibly create a new connection with someone be the change that you want to see on this platform if you want people to stop by and support your streams, be in other people's streams and support them too. And the biggest thing is that you can get FaceTime with so many other people that are also in the same stream at the same time. And you can take that and bring it back into your Discord conversations. You can go back and say, hey, Ponzo, great, great stream, by the way. Also, I saw that will was giving a lot of excellent feedback or i saw jack saying you know he was very active all of that can feed back all of it is just a continuous feedback loop to help each other because at the end of the day that's what we're trying to do is help each other and if a few of us are able to hit the lottery and get big that is just better exposure for everyone else so with that I conclude my talk. I, I, I do think I, I do appreciate everyone coming in and stopping by and, and listening to me ramble. Um, if you did miss the first part of my talk, I will be posting all of these. This will be a two part video on my YouTube. Um, hit exclamation point YouTube and you can be taken to where I post uh, content. I do my best to post like two or three times a week. I'm not always the best, but yeah, exclamation point YouTube. You can see my YouTube channel. We just hit 125 subscribers, which is awesome. 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 So thank you. If you do want to be part of the growing army on YouTube, that would be excellent. But yeah, who has questions? I'm a person who often often has uh, social anxiety when networking. Have you experienced this? And do you have any advice, Roxon? That is that is a very very good question. Getting over that, it is very nerve wracking to get into a call where you don't know any other people. My first ever time, I remember back when I was barely getting to affiliate, and I saw people kind of like hanging out. There's a good chance people are going to accept you at face value. And they are going they are not going to be mean to you because you are taking a huge step. I believe it is about a four to one support ratio where you view for their streams and only once will they come back after you view for their streams. I believe it is about a four to one support ratio where you view for their streams and only once will they come back after you view four of their streams. I believe it is about a four to one support ratio where you view four of their streams and only once will they come back after you view four of their streams. 
I believe it is about a four to one support ratio where you view for their streams and only once will they come back after you view four of their streams. Everyone, I'm sure everyone in this chat who is a content creator has had this where someone new pops into their chat, says, hi, what's up? Chats with them for like five minutes and then they lurk. That happens, you know? You don't really think too much of it. It's like, okay, cool. New person stopped by. So, second time they pop in. Ooh, some, they've returned. They must like my stuff. How you doing? How's it going? Tell me a little bit more about you. How's your job? How's, how's this? How's that? Second one. Third time they come back. Oh, they, they've really messed with my stuff. I'm enjoying seeing them around. We are starting to build some rapport that we can talk about. Fourth time. Okay, this person is down for the count. Oh, shoot. They also stream? Oh, they just casually mentioned it? Let me go check them out. Four to one ratio. And it sucks. It sucks so bad that it has to be like that. But you need to tell yourself... That reciprocation is never guaranteed. You can only do your best to care about people as much as they care for you. Or even more than they care for you. And if you care more about them than they do about you, you're eventually going to have them, you know, as bad as it sounds, they're going to want to reciprocate the support and they will eventually tune into your streams. And also, like, subbing to them and giving them some vids helps too. But I think at the end of the day, people look for people who come back to their streams. And that's the biggest thing. If you are willing to accept the challenge of caring for them four times more than they care about you, you are going to succeed. And you need to keep on telling yourself that at the end of the day because that hope will get you through. That's that's that, that's that That hope is what got me through in terms of wanting to post more. If I can care for my subscribers on YouTube four times more than they care about me, I'm doing a good job, which means posting four times as much content or four times better content than they expect. Like I said, thank you all for so much, for all the support. Ooh, one last Pokemon card opening. Right, exactly. And I'll open a... Well, Haley, do you want a Toxtricity pack, a Dragapult pack?